Disclaimer, this video is in no way intended to be for the purpose of reviewing the game in question. Please do not use this as a review. The video is purely for the sake of gameplay commentary and comedy purposes. Thank you, and enjoy the video. God, I didn't want to come back to doing this, but here we are with... What is it? The last patient... Or maybe the 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 fur asked the the, the number one asked uh, patioid. I'm honestly not fucking sure. Last patient is a short first-person horror shooter with a frightening atmosphere with an overall negative review. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that should tell you something. Uh, this I th I think this is the one that has my favorite review of all time. It, it might be the next one. I might have been hyping this up for nothing, let's see. Okay, no, 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 this, is, this isn't. <laughs> this isn't the one. But you'll see it next time. Just you hold your pants and you wait till the end of the video because we've got some secret easter eggs waiting for you there. And boy, oh boy. You're... You're, you're really not... You're gonna be disappointed. So, uh, this was actually posted on my birthday. Uh, this has taken the crown from the Lost Base Escape as the Game Guru title that has gameplay, or <laughs> that has gameplay. What? Oh, God. This guy doesn't have very good grammar either. It has gameplay, but also the least effort. No one will take the crown from Bold New World, which was just finite assets in an open map and didn't have an end trigger unless your physical death by natural causes was its ending. Uh, but you shouldn't release a game for money that is of lower quality than Lost Base Escape. Uh, having known about Lost Base Escape prior to, this is uh, this one makes sense, and Game Guru is essentially like some sort of shite mix between Unity and Game Maker. It's just a big disappointment of a fucking game engine. Once again, 99 cents. And once again, none of my friends will be experiencing this hell with me. So. <laughs> and that's if I have any friends left at the end of this journey. <sighs> One last thing I did want to mention. Look at how low res even the icon for your desktop is. And no, that's not just me stretching it. That's the actual resolution. That's legitimately the actual resolution. I I would think I was getting into a 16-bit game from this, but uh, it looks 3D as far as I can tell. Maybe it won't work. Maybe the day will be saved by it not working like protocol. Anyway, uh, might as well stop buying my time and uh, just get the fuck into this god-awful game torture myself some more because that's what you people came here for isn't it you sick freaks what is up guys we are playing the last patient today part four of five of the bispo Bree series uh, long running not so great series to figure out if I can actually oh this is a this this is a good about I really like that one there are no options to lower the volume so that's fucking fantastic let's just hope we can actually lower it once we get into the game maybe I doubt it, but maybe. One eternity later. Jesus Christ, that loading screen took fucking forever. Alright, is there a way to save your sound levels? Thank you. Oh, sweet. Can you yeah, it's picking it up. Can you see how laggy that is? That is disgusting. Okay, come in. There we go. 
is there we go, fucking dark. Alright, well, I guess just hopping into the game, this is just terrible from the start. Do, do anybody, does anybody see uh, a pistol here? Uh, there is none. We're just gonna pick up a pistol from this guy's face, I guess. These doors also, like, warp as they open. That's fucking amazing. What the fuck? How you doing, pal? You... Yeah. You having fun? Alright, well... What? It says... Gameplay! <laughs> Fucking gameplay. Beautiful. Find a key. Are we sure that's even possible? Half of the things it's telling me I can grab don't exist. How can we be so sure that the key actually exists? Alright. Guess we've really got no choice. Man, I'm fucking spooked. This game is scary. Dem graphics, though. Resident Evil 7, eat your fucking heart out. Oh no! Well, that's extremely loud. What the fuck? Yep, yep. Alright, well, that happened. That was like slightly startling, I guess. I wasn't really scared, I was mildly annoyed that something was happening. Uh oh, it's the guy. I better not go in that door. I'm gonna go through here, I guess. Oh, well. I guess not. I guess I thought wrong. And I guess we're starting from the beginning. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, see you after this, like, hour-long loading screen. Eventually. Alright, we're good to go. You to open the door. Okay, put that flashlight on. We need that shit. Grab the pistol. Run over here. Open the door. Headshot, boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom. We're going for speed run strats right now. Uh, fuck, where's that shotgun? We are but men, we are Devo. Shotgun out here this time, or uh oh, spaghettios. This man's still here. It's our good pal. I'm not even sure he's supposed to be a threat. All right, did I pick it up? Did I get a shotgun? I want the shotgun. God damn it! I saw it. I saw it. Did I get it? There we go. And now we're good to go, dude. Got a shotgun. He's not gonna get me this time. Sneaky bastard. You have to like click three or four times before the shotgun actually shoots. That's beautiful. All right. And speed run strats, dude. Ready to go here? Open the door, but we're gonna back up. 
shoot this guy because I knew he was coming. And then these two are just going to menacingly saunter towards me. Reload that gun. I'm going to need that. Pick up the key. Where is that? There it is. Alright, let's go through this door. And then let's go through this one instead. I hope I don't get shot. The second I say I hope I don't get shot, I immediately get shot. Get anything out of this? That's it. All right. Jesus Christ! This fucking man was ready for me. Is there health here? I oh, think. Sweet Christ. Uh, some keys. Too. How oh, fantastic. Some pants. Some nice pants. I think I can take on Bigman. Now that I've got the proper equipment. Dropped him. Call of Duty drop shots, boy. Alright. I don't think you were fucking ready for this. See, look at this, dude. I'm fucking swimming in puss now. Once you take out Big Man, all the zombie pussy is yours. I think that's, like, the true ending. Alright, there's a couple guys behind this door, I believe. There he is. Thought you were sneaky, huh, motherfucker? Get 15 shots in this thing, and I'm not afraid to use them. Oh, sweet fuck! Are you kidding me? Oh my fucking god. Alright, I'll be back again. I'm just gonna watch this guy's YouTube video to see what happens when you don't get shot 800 times the second these guys see you. So let's <sighs> watch the ending of the game because I was too fucking lazy to beat it myself. Mm -hmm. You look around. Yep. He looks around. Fantastic. We went in this area. We didn't go in any areas we haven't been in before. See how he deals with this guy. See, the whole time this guy's been playing, they haven't been shooting him at all. It's like they just don't give a fuck about him. Whereas with me, they were like, the second they saw me from 800 miles away down a dark corridor, they just unloaded every bullet they owned onto me. Which was just really fucking fantastic. This big guy was after my asshole the second I walked into this room. Is he playing on easy mode? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yep. He's dead. 
really just showcase how shitty this game is. Alright, so where does he go after he kills everyone? He goes back in here. And then he grabs this key that he should have grabbed to begin with. And he sprints. And he sprints. What? Fantastic. Yep. Is that it? It's just a, a big ass green abyss. Thank god. 